A recent study by Deloitte, the Deloitte 2019 Millennial Survey, it actually showed that millennials now account for a little more than a third of the workforce, which is, as you can imagine, a non-trivial number. Interestingly, the survey also suggested that they're not particularly optimistic, either about the economy or for that matter, the state of leadership of enterprises, uh, not just in America, but the world over. Well, I think there's a crisis of leadership in government, in corporations, uh, and kind of broadly speaking, especially given the last 20, 30 years of what people have seen. You know, we've seen companies who are using our data against us as opposed to for us. We've seen governments who've lied. And so I think that healthy skepticism is what it is. Uh, on the other hand, I find that when you're working with the younger people, the energy and the brightness that they bring is awesome. They want to do good and they want to do well. And as managers, can you channel that into making something positive and have a positive impact? Maybe they'll only stay with your company for three years, but if you treat them well, will they talk well of the organization right. after they leave? And by the way, maybe you redesign a job in a way that allows them to do multiple things and maybe they'll stay longer. Mm -hmm. I think companies need to be far more open-minded mm -hmm. about what the relationship looks like between mm -hmm. employees or managers and workers mm -hmm. and, and how do you make it a positive thing over an extended period of time. Mm -hmm. So earlier, Michelle, when we were having lunch, you were mentioning that the millennials had three signature tests. Income was one, mm -hmm. flexibility was another, mm -hmm. and then there was a third element as it was, well. It was along well, the question of what are the most important characteristics for millennials. And again, it's where they are on their journey. Right. In general, income and benefits mm -hmm. uh, are of top most importance to them, followed very closely by flexibility. And mm -hmm. flexibility as defined, to going back to the first question, which is, the holistic person, right? So for, for one person, flexibility may be, I'd like to work from home a couple days a week and avoid the commute. For someone else, it's, I need to have a flexible schedule because I'm doing my side hustle. And I have, you know, I'm incorporating that as part of my life. That flexibility element I have found with this generation is increasingly important. Right. So is this side hustle that you so charmingly <laughs> refer to? <laughs> Probably a better term for <laughs> it. It is. So what does it mean for employee loyalty or is that like an outmoded idea that we've got to consign to the dustbin? I think it, it goes to what Rob was saying is that there is less loyalty toward an individual company or organization mm -hmm. born of perhaps their journey which saw a recession, saw a housing crisis, saw parents maybe struggle economically and so they're not going to put all their eggs in one basket and so the, the side hustle is both a necessity for economic stability as well as this fuels me this fuels my life and this is important to me. Right. So you have hedgers, if you will, Correct. and they hedge. But I'm very drawn to your emphasis on how much contagious positive energy the millennials have. But what I also see you recommending, and I want to make sure my understanding is right, you're suggesting, hey, the way we design organizations yes. is not like one size fits all, but it's the era of mass customization. Is that what it is? Well, or? I think I, the, there's a big part of that. And I think that if you look at the tools of communication and of right. collaboration, it allows people to do things differently that were done in the past. I think that you'll see the way organizations are are constructed on a global basis will not be what, what historically was the old hub and spoke model mm -hmm. where you have like a headquarters and then labor arbitrage to mm -hmm. have cheaper labor in manufacturing or in engineering or in customer service. Now you'll see organizations act more and behave like mesh networks and there you'll have you know clusters of organizations and people that will be able to work together mm -hmm. in a much more egalitarian way and I think that plays into a lot of what the millennials want to do and maybe they relocate to us uh, someplace for 60 days as opposed to for two years mm -hmm. and that constant change which they're used to when how they consume media mm -hmm. they're used to and how they communicate with each mm -hmm. other the organization ends up taking on some of those attributes I think that's pretty exciting I mean if I were young I think it would be great all the wonderful things that I would get to do uh, and how my life might be different in 90 days than it is today. So I see that as a positive thing. Mm -hmm. And do you, Michelle? Absolutely. I, I can't add to any more. I 100% agree.